<laughs> so you um, you also hung out with another one of the, the kings of comedy was Bernie Mac, who to me, uh, Bernie Mac is arguably one of the greatest ever to hold the mic on the stand up stage. He's he's right up there. You know, I think sometimes he gets overlooked for whatever reason. Everybody always goes right to Pryor and Carlin and, and uh, Cosby and, you know, those guys. But I, I think Bernie Mac, man, he was fire up there, man. And I'm blessed. I'm big boned. I'm heavy structure. I'm hung low. If I pull my shit out, this whole room get dark. Kick it! You know, and I've said this, uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, previous interviews I've done. I, I've always, I have a really soft spot for Bernie because of just how he treated me. And trust me, I've worked with a lot of people in this business, man. And what you see in front of the camera is not always behind the camera. And I think I, I've learned from being in Hollywood not to become too enamored with people that you see because they're human. And, 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 and after you see somebody on television for so long, we feel like we know these people. So when you meet them, you're like, hey, hey. And they're not like that. You know, some of them are mad, uh, depressed. Some of them are on medication. And you never know how you're going to catch them. But with Bernie, man, he was just so, you, you want to talk about, you know, it was the last season of his show. I did maybe the second to the last episode of the show. Wow, man, that sounds so doggone real. It's like it's coming from all around here. <laughs> it's not turned on yet. I think that was one of your kids. And I just recall, and I don't, I don't want to give you long, long answers, but I just recall my mother was in town and Bernie had a disease called sacrodosis. They're actually doing like this documentary on sacrodosis. You have to look it up. It really affects the black community, black men in particular, my father has it. Sarcoidosis is a rare, multi-system disease that occurs when the immune system goes into overdrive, causing abnormal collections of inflammatory cells that form tiny clumps. And he was living a, a COVID lifestyle before COVID because uh, sarcoidosis attacks your immune system and you catch a regular cold and you struggle with it. So he had just gotten over about, I mean, he had a cold and it turned into the flu or it, it, it was really bad and they had to halt production. So he was taking precautions. So when you came on that set, you had to make sure your hands were washed. They kept everything sterile and they gave you almost a list of rules. Hey, don't try to shake Bernie's hand. Don't stand too close to him. If you have to cough or sneeze, you know, do it someplace else. So they gave all these rules. And, 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 and when they gave you those rules, you almost felt like you were walking on eggshells. And my mother was in town. And she had never been on a set before. And obviously you want to show mom, hey, look, I'm working. And not only am I working, I'm working with one of the kings of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember being intimidated to even ask him that. But I said, hey, you know what? I'm just going to ask him. So when I first got there and we were going through, you know, the walkthrough and we were preparing, you know, we were standing there because our scenes were together and it was just he and I. So I just remember saying, hey, man, you mind if I bring my mother on the set and, uh, you know, I'll make sure she stay. And he said, hey, your mother's in town. I, I don't even think he let me finish. And he said, your mother's in town? And I said, yeah. And he said, I remember him. He stopped everything. He said, hey, look, let me just say this. His mother is in town. If he doesn't bring his mother with him tomorrow, do not let him back on the set. In fact, his mother is the key to him getting on this set for the remainder of the time that he's shooting. Wow. You better have your mother with you. And man, I brought my mother on the set. And you know, it was so as 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 strict as he was about the thing, and he 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 adhered to that. Like he wouldn't shake your hand, he wouldn't do he threw all that aside with my mother. He came over, he hugged her, he sat there beside her, they sang church hymns. He was wow. just so nice to my mother that it just it blew me away, man. And I, I never will forget how nice he was. And I remember when he passed, because he was trying his best not to get sick. And I asked him, I said, hey, man, are you going to tour it? I mean, we, we got so close on there that he actually told the producers, hey, if we come back for another season, make him a reoccurring. Every time we're doing a, a poker scene, have him there. Oh, that's nice. I mean, real nice. Oh, it gets nicer, brother. Oh, wow. But we started talking and I asked him, was he going to do stand up anymore? And he was like, you know, man, I have to live in a bubble. He was like, I, I want to, but I'm afraid that if I go out and I'm around people that I might catch something 
and it could take me out. So when he got sick, I knew when I heard on the news, I was like, oh, it's almost like somebody uh, uh, predicting what might happen to them. And then it happens to him and you sit back and go, golly, this is the one thing he was trying to avoid. So I knew when he, you know, I was following it. He, he was in the hospital now, and I kept calling my mom saying, mom, I don't think this is good. I don't think this is good. And he passed. And my mom, we often talk about, because she has a big picture. They took a picture together. We all took a picture together. She has that picture framed in our house. And whenever I come home, if we're around that picture, we look at it and we go, remember, remember how nice Bernie was? So I wow. never will forget that. Well, it gave me the, the goosebumps. Passed the goosebump test, man. That, that, that Those are the kind of stories that, you know, real legends are, are made with, man. You know what I mean? And, and uh, every, everything about that guy was just amazing. And for you to have those moments with him and be able to work with him, share the screen with him is, uh, is, is priceless indeed, man.